So here we are in the backyard. Um, <laughs> bit of a change hey, from the summer. Absolutely no plants on the deck whatsoever there. All the tomatoes are gone. Uh, There's another nine bark here. The birds have been feeding, building up their strength for the winter. And that's our uh, mountain ash straight ahead there. Um, yeah, they've got a few little berries on there still. <laughs> I can't really see them from here, but this uh, Engelman ivy has uh, long been toasted by the frost. It it did turn a really lovely red. We, we did get to see some of the color, um, but uh, not anymore. Uh, it's finished, that is. And uh, this is our little Carmen Jewel cherry. This is a cherry tree which has been developed by, I think, the University of Manitoba um, for the prairies, for you know, to be hardy to zone two. And the cherries on it are a sour cherry, and they're just gorgeous. There were some when we bought it on the plant, and we really enjoyed those. Uh, but, you know, we'll see. We'll see. The new owners, I hope, will like it. <laughs> um, that is a blue muffin viburnum uh, plant. And, uh, yeah, it's right next to the house, so they're kind of hanging in there. They're not doing too bad. These little hostas aren't doing great. And the muscori, of course, their, their glory days were in the spring, so. And the red currant, <laughs> I've just noticed there is a red currant on it. <laughs> We'll leave that one for the birds, I guess. And that's about all we got off that, that plant this year. But uh, I will be uh, trimming again that uh, in the spring, if we're still here. I'll take off uh, a whole bunch of the... Um, is it the new growth I take off? I think it is. Because they, yeah, they fruit on the old growth, so you get rid of a bunch of the new stuff uh, in May. Uh, to try and keep it compact. So that's another blue muffin viburnum doing a little better. It gets some more sun, obviously, than that one I showed you earlier. The pinnacle birch is finally starting to uh, finally starting to turn color again. Everything close to the house is doing really well. We've had like minus seven overnight. There's the herbs on the deck, and you can see I get out of the way. Um, yeah, right by the door. I'm, we're still eating those. Yeah, we're still taking those. Marjoram, oregano. The tarragon is budding. It's got new buds coming. I don't know if you can see that. I can't really see it. Yes, there you go. So, they'll go eventually. We start getting minus 10. There'll be no hope for those guys. <laughs> Yeah, of course the strawberries are doing great. I took the uh, the rhubarb out, so you won't see that. And we do have a rose here, which for some reason decided it was going to bloom. The buds have been out for ages. There we are. There's uh, Henry Kelsey, a climbing rose, and <laughs> a bunch of rose buds, which may may open. It's odd weather. That's the way she goes. And there are my little black prince snapdragons. Um, I didn't get any seeds off of those. I wasn't very vigilant, so. But they will be back next year. They'll, they'll self-seed there. Yeah. So that's about it, really. All the news in the backyard. I would maybe like to show you these um, spirea. Got the hushera down there. All the the lilies are done. But these spirea, they're really quite something. They're very pretty. They they do have a nice fall color on them. They're what I'd like to call a parking lot plant because it, they can they're very drought tolerant. Um, they do prefer a full sun, and therefore they are a lot smaller this year than they were last year. I think if, in another video I explained that. As these aspens get bigger, Boris and Natasha here, um, they shade out this bed, and uh, as a result, things are 
becoming stunted but uh, but I'm pretty happy with all that full color yeah but that's pretty much it for the leaves now uh, the Russian olive just up there um, when we move, I'm definitely planting another one of those in the new garden. Um, they're just stunning. I, uh, they, they take forever to lose their leaves. In fact, some of those leaves will be still on in the spring. Um, and, and they're just a great place for birds. And the uh, cedar waxwings like the olives, uh, as do the bank pies for some reason. So there you go. But that's it. That's our garden. The end of the year. Uh, enjoying the, the last of the good weather. Thanks very much for joining me. Take care.